Yo, it's Yo. the start of the week. You're mm-hmm. doing it right. Yes, yes, you are. This yes, you bad are. Bad motherfucking taste. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. Episode three, like my favorite Star Wars episode. I hate Star Wars. Oh man, I love Star Wars. It's the shit. But mind that, Good nerds. I am bad news and tattoos. I am outlandish Zicky Dice, and I'm a little bit under the weather today. Carly, you're I'm gonna have sorry, to carry man. the show for one I'm more sorry, week. Man. In a row. I'm sorry, man. I'm a little head cold. I will I do the heavy happens. lifting. I got yes, you, please, Bubba. Please. I got you. How you feeling today? Well, like eight bucks. I uh, I got a little congested. Mm-hmm. Uh, I took a COVID test when I was upstairs before the show started. Mm-hmm. Came back negative, so that's good news. That makes us feel yeah. good. That makes us feel good. It's a little cold. Sure. Yeah, no sharing, nothing today. No oh, kissing. We made sure no we, we provided you with all your own stuff over there. Yes, you I have my own stuff. Thank you very much. Getting me situated before the show. Love it. Love it. Love it. I am feeling fantastic as always. When don't I feel fantastic? You know, mm-hmm. um, had a wonderful weekend. I am sure. You know, um, let before we get to that, let's thank all of our people from Patreon. You yeah, know, let's, we got our patrons. We have two. We're two. up to two. We're up to two now. Two now. Thank you Mixed very much. Mixed only and Tyler from an H are two patrons for shout help out and make bad taste this this Ferris wheel spin. Yes, yes. Shout out Tyler. Shout out and only. You know, we appreciate it. You know, we love you. And love also you. our incredible sponsor once again this week, Real, Real Kind Meds. I love them. I appreciate them. They always keep us exactly where we want to be. Nice and nice. Nice and outlandish. I yes, yes, yes. You, real kind meds. Feeling groovy. Check I love their that. Instagram and their Twitter. Their nice little, uh, their nice little logo with the hands in the cube. I don't really get that Very part. Nice but... loving people and all the beautiful people here mm-hmm. live mm-hmm. Thank on you the guys. Twitch channel right now and in the chat. Diamond Sheik dropping ten gifted subs. We had A A W I N W A subscribing. Yes, Albert yes. subscribing. Yes, yes. And Bear Shaker and OG. Subscribing. Yes, Thank which you is all so which much. is pretty fantastic. Shout out to the Diamond Sheik, the big guy himself. Shout out to everybody subscribing. To our channel, we the show, yeah, the, speaking of which, the show's been growing. We're on week big. three. Yes. The Instagram, yes. the numbers, the yes. reels, the TikToks, mm-hmm. um, our YouTube subscribers. We're on Apple and Spotify and everywhere you listen to podcasts. And please, I want to challenge you. Next time you're there, give it a five star rating. Yes. Give it all the likes and drop your handle in the chat so we can shout, shout you out on the show. We're like a really good Uber, you know. We're trying really hard. We need all of those stars. We need five of them. You gotta, all you of gotta them. tell your friends. So. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's how the show's gonna grow. And tell your friends we know your friends have bad taste so so yes. invite them and right? we're looking for segment ideas and things to do on the show and in different ways to keep you entertained and we've got we've got a lot of ideas we yes we do we bring do bring them to fruition bring you them do. to life gordo says hi he's barking gordo's studio. back there gordo's back there i see everybody saying what's up you know we we'll, we see everybody in the chat saying what's up what's up everybody we out here living so listen uh great weekend this weekend yes you know great very weekend. long very me. long weekend Tell me about your weekend. What you have going on? How about you start with yours while I drink my Diet Coke? I can do that. I can do that. This weekend, I found myself in Cincinnati, Ohio. Mm. Um, wonderful place. What a shithole. Oh, damn. We have two different oh, opinions. Yes. You yeah. know, um, shout out to Lord Crew, my boy. He set me up straight out there, had me out there with all his homies, took me around his town. Um, very cool. I saw you ate those uh, those cheese dogs. Oh, they're, they're called cheese conies. Yeah. And they are... The most amazing thing How I've many ever did you eaten. take down. Dude? I only ate two because they warned me ahead of time. Hey, they told me ahead of time. They was like, "Yo, if you eat more than two, you're gonna get sting ring. It's going. Yes, it's going down. You know, you know sting ring is you're, when you shit your pants. Yeah, your asshole burns. A hundred percent. But listen, it was worth it. It was fantastic. They're, they're like, All right, so cheese conies are these little miniature corn dogs. What? The, they're, right? they're hot dogs. They're not corn dogs. Well, they're not hot corn dogs. dogs. They're hot dogs. With chili, chili dogs. Yes. Cheese and onions. And onions Mother. and mustard. Chili cheese. That's what it is. Chili cheese hot dogs. Um, obviously, real kind man tapped me where I need to be at, so I said corn dogs but because you're corny i'm not Continue. corny bro I didn't thank you bro I'm thank you sorry I'm, yes i'm working on that i'm trying to be nicer to you i appreciate it man i appreciate it. cheese conies was the name of the game it was fantastic we went out drinking um and i went uh i had my second main event in two nice. weeks second um i did a ladder match this weekend i saw at, uh, cl- and, uh, how you feeling how's the body I I had, i've never done a ladder match never never uh my first I've one had a ladder in a match but it wasn't like a ladder match i jumped off a 30 foot balcony that is insane it was it was fun uh and i also jumped through a ladder i did a frog splash on the guy through a ladder you know, it's part of the biz, kid. I remember being young and hungry, man. <laughs> <laughs> young, dumb, and full <laughs> of cum, hurts, baby. Man, I was out there wilding. Uh, but the match was awesome. It was out in uh, OWA in Columbus. So that was fantastic. Uh, and then I came back here, baby. And, and I took came off the plane, came straight here, got fly as hell. Drip tech, drip check real quick. See how good I you look. look. Nice. Say thank you. you thank nice. you. Thank you. You, you look, look fantastic. Thank you. I got the shirt over the weekend. It was free. Tell me about your weekend. Um, we can start it on Thursday. Thursday. I, um, went and wrestled for best trivia ever. 
Uh, it's a trivia company that handles like the Northeast, and uh, they throw a wrestling show once a year. Okay. And they had Jake Something, Scott Steiner, Joey Janela, Kid Bandit was on the show, Zicky Dice. I issued an open challenge. One okay. wrestle for them. The show was in Milford, Connecticut. Oh. At Tribus Beer Co. It was a great time. Who'd you wrestle? Well, I this open challenge was open to anyone in, from anywhere in the anybody, world. And anybody. Eddie Kingston showed up. I Ed, ended up wrestling Eddie Kingston. The Mad King. Yes, in the main event. In the at, main event. Sure we ever. Yep. How's your jaw feel? Uh, very sore. Yes, yeah, I've been does. eating through a straw. He definitely chopped one of my nipples off. Oh, he does that. That sucks. Hey, Shout out to the Mad King, know, man. He's a uh, t- uh, t- uh, tough dude. Tough, tough dude. Tough dude. Tough dude. You came back here. Now you're here. Yeah, well, I uh, made a, had to take a flight to Nashville for the Impact tapings. I was in Nashville Friday, Saturday. Friday Ooh. was Victory Road tapings. Ooh. And Saturday did some tapings, and I did a pre-tape, and ringside work and didn't even wrestle okay you had a nice yeah. little relaxing you were able, able to watch the wrestling this yeah time. got home yesterday there's a new burger joint that opened up what's Tried called that out it's called moxie burger ate that oh it's, it's pretty good right. for a little cheat meal and I'm then a, uh yeah just just here relaxing now i'm a big burger guy yeah i'm a big i love burgers, I love burgers too but I, I can't eat them anymore i'm on my fourth diet this month you uh you watch anything cool this week uh, I started that Dahmer show last night. It's a little weird. Oh, yeah. I like it. I'm like two episodes in. Yes. Uh, the wife and the mother-in-law don't want to watch it anymore. It's, so I continue tonight, though. I got two episodes in, and I decided that that wasn't for me. Um, wild, though. Wild, though. He a wild. He, he wild. I don't know what else to say about that. That was crazy, right? Interesting dude. I that mean, was, you know, the story is just cool to see, like, different side and then, like, showcase a little bit more about the victims and stuff that happened, you know? Yeah, that was actually pretty it's gnarly. Weird. Recommend watching it. I don't know, man. I don't. I'm not into watching films or stuff about a bunch of dudes that just want to kill dudes. You know, like that's not that's not really my vibe. I like happy things. You know, yeah, like happy things. maybe if they put a little bit of action like music behind it, and a, couple, a couple machine guns and a couple explosions, that's I'd have been happy? fine. I'd have been fine with that kind of murder. That's happy? But just walking up on dudes and just fucking, <laughs> you know, like I'm not. I'm not with none of that, bro. That's creepy, I mean, bro. That's cre- and, and then he was like real weird when he was doing it. He's just looking at people and not saying nothing. Yo, there was some weird, weird people. Dude. He was a very fucking weird dude. I've yeah. met some weird dudes like that before. You've met some like off putting oh, yeah. creepy dudes? Oh, yeah. A lot. Yeah. I mean, dude, look at, look at what we do. Of course, I'm going to meet some interesting people. There's a lot of way. weird people in this fucking world, bro. Some we're, we're, we're two of them. So I was about to say, some people would say that you and I are weird. Very. I don't think that I would love, I, I, I'm always wondering what people would think when the two of us walk into a room, you know? That is a very good question. Like they can't ignore. You can, oh no, we're we're definitely noticeable. So I've heard. So I've yeah, heard. Yeah, I've, I've heard likewise. that. I've heard that we're the loudest people in the room when we come in before you even say anything. Likewise, you that's know? why we're here. That's what quiet. That's why we're doing say. this show. Oh, shit bags. Bad right. taste. Yeah, all them guys. Yeah. So listen. Um. All right. So check it. I was uh, on my plane ride to fucking Columbus. They flew you. I flew myself. Nice. They flew me back though. Nice. Uh, I'll give them that. Nice. You know, um, on my plane ride out there, I was able to listen to a bunch, you know, airports. I was listening to a bunch of tunes, right? Yep. A bunch of fly ass, fly ass stuff. I mean, now the kind of music I'm into, I like to cover, like I cover mad genres. You feel me? Sometimes I'm in a fucking, um, sometimes in a super hardcore rap mood. Sometimes I'm in an alternative mood. Sometimes I'm in hard rock mood. I like two country songs. You feel what I'm saying? Just two. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. You I feel like what I'm saying? Uh, I also, am, I think everybody knows this. I'm a huge Britney Spears fan. Yep. For like three songs. I know that. You know, um, so I'm, I'm a Spears. massive Britney Spears song. I love three of her songs, you know, and uh, it got me thinking. It got me thinking. What was, over the span of our lives, you and not about the same age, what was the best musical era? You know, we've had, we've had hard, like, like hard rock. We've had head, headbanger rock. You oh, know? man. You know, you know, man. Grunge. It's going to be either. 80s like just 80s music as a whole okay or some early 2000s stuff early 2000s had the vibes didn't it all the vibes man early 90s was also no joke you know a different early 90s was also gangster music in the early 90s was no joke but then the pop era of 2000s was undeniable i mean you can put on the matchbox 20 slappers and i'll be chilling yeah what was that joint you was playing last week you was playing nickelback was I? Was it? Was it? Was that song? Everything so blurry. Oh, blurry by Paul Mo. We talked no, about that. Man, we talked about that. We said that was one of my favorite bangers. That's still hilarious to me. That's a bet. You still refer to it as a banger. It is blurry. I, yes, I will stand by that week after week. Blurry by Puddle of Mud is in fact a banger. Do you remember when the Spice Girls hit? Yes, I remember when the Spice Girls. Where were you? Where, where were you? I was in like fifth grade, fourth I was grade, in like fifth, sixth grade. Yeah, that was wild, right? That was that was all the girls were dressing like them. And I'll tell you what I want, <laughs> yeah, what yeah. I really really want. I'm not gonna lie, I was a fan. Who's your favorite Spice Girl? Oh, uh, what what are all their names again? 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to know this. Uh, Somebody help us here. Uh, what, what I don't know. It might, be, it might be sporty, scary, baby, scary, posh. baby, posh. And, uh, and, and there's another the one, right? Posh, anyways. And 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 posh, there's posh. another one. Posh, sporty, baby, scary. And there's another one. Ginger. Ginger. Spice. Ginger was hot. Okay, ginger spice. Yeah. Ginger. I like ginger spice. Yeah, I liked all the spice. I was a spicy. You ever smoke no, I, spice? I almost walked right into that. <laughs> <laughs> I unfortunately, well, I played in a touring band, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You had, sometimes you gotta go to the store and buy some spice. Yeah, sometimes you gotta be a spicy that fellow, shit, dude. Sometimes you gotta be a spicy fellow. Mm-hmm. That is the worst. I know I'm not alone out there. Mm-mm, mm-mm. What's that other stuff? Uh, salvia. You ever smoke that? No. Dude, no, I've I seen, will I've never seen enough YouTube videos that would scare me off of salvia for the rest of my entire life. So one time, my friends made me smoke salvia in the car. Mm-hmm. I wasn't driving; okay. I was in the passenger seat. Terrifying. And uh, their faces—they're all laughing. Everything turned black and white, and then there was like dotted lines across everything, like tracing them. And the road was dotted lines. And I looked like I was in this like eight-bit video game. That's terrifying. And they were laughing in my face, and it started like spinning. It was very weird. That it only lasted for like five or ten minutes, but after I felt like I was on like a shitty carnival ride. You ever you ever been on a shitty carnival ride and got yo, motion sickness? Ha, yo, yes, have I? That's you know the shittiest uh, the shittiest carnival ride, the one the spaceship that fucking spins really really. Oh, fast. I hate that gravity I your hate fucking that. body like, like oh. this, it slides up on the fucking walls. It's the worst thing of all time. Oh, it pisses me off so bad. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, and don't you- ride gravitron and don't smoke. Sp- Spice. Let's just be that's, real. That's what we're learning. Today. All carnival rides pretty they're, much dude, suck. They're ass. Right? I do not want to ride another carnival ride in my life. Carnival rides are, carnival are to, like the motels of fucking amusement park situations. Right? I used to love like, that fucking, that ride, the big old slide with the potato sack. That's the only ride. Yo. <laughs> I ain't going that's on that. the only ride I, I can do. That's my nut. Yo, I've seen, I've seen some shit recently. Hop where like potato like, sack, buddy. Uh, yo, I, I fucking seen some shit recently where there was a kid riding with his mom on the roller coaster deal, on the kiddie roller coaster deal, and the fucking thing just shot off the tracks yeah. imagine have you seen the meth heads that run those rides yeah have, have I have. i've seen the good folk that ride that run I, those, those carnival days a friend of mine and i once contemplated uh doing a summer loop with the carnies i was gonna ask you could you be a carny yeah why don't i am a that? carny i know the answer to that i am a you would enjoy that wouldn't that you ride up when a bride you know i'm just glad that like you know they you be with a date, you know, and they're talking shit to you to win a prize. So, you know, you spend yeah. a shitload of money on this game. You don't win the prize. I've always been thankful that casino dealers weren't like that. You know, imagine you're at the casino, my own business dealer's like, hey, step right up. Hey. Come on, you lose a hand. Come on, you're going to so, lose so, that right again. Those are the good guys. You ever been to a fair where they're like, hey, yo, hey, yo, don't you want to buy her a, a teddy bear? Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Hey, yo, oh, yeah. hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. And hey, it's some easy no game. Yo, and some it, little hammer, and you're like, I can hit they this started, They start they start fucking embarrassing the shit out of you. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why your man's skinny. Yo, whoa, whoa, <laughs> yeah, whoa, yo, what the hell, whoa, yeah. what the fuck? Now you got to turn back around. Yeah, you're going to Let me knock this bottle off this fucking table real quick. Right, right. damn baseball. I got this Around, yeah. bro. Fuck around, bro. Hell no, that's, that's hard. They're there's all there's some out there, yeah. And then and then yep, fucking rigged. Yep, yep, all of them. And then they got the fucking basketball court. That's like I wanted a few goldfish that died immediately when I got home. It traumatized me as a child, dude. Yeah, I've, I've, I can see that. I used to do the fucking shooting thing, the little shooting. We shoot stick, the star. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah. Oh, I, I never did that. That one sucks. Yeah, I I saw a kid. Uh, I saw a kid shoot the uh the fair attendant with those ones because <laughs> he wouldn't <laughs> give him a, uh, a teddy bear. So when he asked for another thing, and he just turned it to the dude and started lighting the dude. Up. Hilarious! Oh, that one rules. of the funniest things I've ever seen. That rules. Mm-hmm. I like the the one with the you got to shoot the water in the clown's mouth. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. I also like the one with the balls where you throw and the horses run, but they, they only run by where you throw your ball in the hole. That yeah, that's they have the uh, you, you know what? But at every single fucking carnival funnel cake, <laughs> yeah, fried Oreos. Yeah, the, dry ass the long ass legs. corn dogs. The, I love the turkey legs. The driest, I love, the I driest the, turkey legs you've ever had in your I entire get life. Turkey legs every time. That's not even turkey. That's water buffalo. The turkey, <laughs> the leg rules. be bigger. The leg be big as hell. It's like a fucking prehistoric dinosaur leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I've been eating turkey my whole life. I've never seen a size turkey leg in a fucking supermarket. You never see. You gotta go see find bigger turkeys. Be, man, there's you know, some, some big ass turkeys out there. There's some big ass turkeys, but those I be human them. human quads. That's I what see, those are, bro. David says those are emu legs. That's exactly what they are. I've never seen. Right. Emo in real life either. Jimmy Kong brings up one of my favorite games too. Before I remember this at Circus Circus in Las Vegas as a child, where you like 
You can either guess your weight, your birthday, or your age, and they'd be talking shit to you. You set step yourself up? up for that. You yeah, set yourself yeah. up for that. Yeah. Absolutely. As, next thing you know, you're fucking 200 pounds and you're fucking, you, you <laughs> yeah. got, you're 47. You know, yep. they're, they're, they really attack your pride. I've never had that problem, but you know, that's one how our, it goes. One of our friends won this Kermit the Frog once for one of those games. We were terrible friends, man. Freshman year, we were shitty friends those man. are the best friends to have we Bubba. were always pranking each other always telling someone to come over to throw a can of beans on them oh i love it or paintball on them or ditching someone we used to love to ditch people dude mm-hmm. we used to love the ditch Hell you yeah. ever ditch someone where you're like hey go in the car and tell three people to go out five minutes or you just straight up leave nah i'm gonna tell you we didn't do that in new york really if you did that that person wasn't gonna be at school the next day <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> that was all right if you left somebody in the part of town they wasn't supposed to be in <laughs> they wasn't coming back no more and you felt real bad and let me tell you it wasn't aliens abducting us those days i told shit. the story the other day we used to call people to come outside and yeah. uh and we would do surprise vacations for the night so i would tell you to come outside i'd say you hop in the car i gotta go seven eleven real quick but then we'd take a surprise two and a half hour trip oh, wow three hour trip yeah that, i remember was... this kid ryan we told him we were going to the casino or something and he started mule kicking the windows at the intersection oh. we had to let him out <laughs> That's what we used to do. No, that, that would that would probably felt like he was getting kidnapped. Uh, yes, I think that so. would scare the shit out of me too. Oh, speaking of that, <laughs> I'm going to a haunted house on Sunday. Okay, the first one of the season. I'm pretty excited about. I it. love haunted houses. I've been to one or two. Oh yeah, so they're, great. They're fun. They're I like fun. a good scare. Boo! Ah, are you, you know? into Are you into uh, horror movies and shit? Uh, uh, not so much. I like the horror movies that are like more realistic. I guess like strangers and shit like that. Yeah, I did like the Purge series. But my buddy told me about this haunted house that he went to somewhere in, like, I don't know, middle America or some shit. And he said that it starts off in this barn, and you go through this, like, hay maze, and it gets darker and more narrow. And it comes to this point where you have to, like, crawl down on your hands and knees. And he says you're crawling, and you go up, and you got to, like, almost lay down. You come into this real small part, and then all of a sudden, like, you see this guy's face poke through, and he says, enjoy the ride or whatever. And this door shut, and it's locked, and it's completely dark. And out of nowhere, he said this vehicle takes off at 90 miles an hour, and you're in the back of this vehicle. He said it was just long enough and fast enough to scare the living shit out of you. So, so like, I, don't, I don't know. Is that a haunted house? Like, is that, that, that no, that's, yeah, that's actually that's a yeah, that's a terrorist attack, actually. Yeah, um, right? For uh, it's a place in Myrtle Beach that I went to where it was like this is back when The Walking Dead was really starting, like really big, big, but it's starting out. And um, they would give you and load you up with like like paintballs and stuff like that and it was like acres and it would be hundreds of people playing zombies chasing you and you'd be out there what? icing people yeah it was fucking wild it was awesome actually we gotta do that i, ha- I still have those passes for six for a paintball game we gotta call the dudes i would absolutely fucking- love that speaking of the dudes i want to give a quick shout out to the hbo you know the gang that yep. ironically let's say you would say you banded together you know you're i do that I'm yeah you, you definitely Chuck. got your fucking bsk put on you know yep. so shout out to the hey brother outlaws yep. Y'all know who y'all are, you know. Shout out to the gang, sweet me, you know. I, I was my boys. I was with two of them this weekend, crew nice. and uh, Jossie, nice. the homes. So that was fucking a great time. Shout out to all the rest of the boys, uh, and we had a good time. We, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah. I have this weekend off, and I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to having a good time and doing nothing. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I yeah. need to recover. No, I don't. I don't do weekends off. off. Yeah. All right. Wait. Listen. Do you remember a couple weeks ago? I asked you. To explain a tattoo. I yeah. Said, I said, well, I told you I wanted to get a, a tattoo explanation every time I saw you, right? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if anybody can see, but on Which your one? foot down there, we were talking about scary movies, and I just noticed you have Creature from the Black the Lagoon. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Yes. That was a Halloween tattoo from a tattoo shop. 31 bucks. Pick a flash off the wall in California. I got that. Jeez, that must have been. Man, 18, 19 years old. I'd like to point out that he is also barefoot yet again. Yeah, hell yeah. Second week I'm in a row. Chill, man. I'm chilling. I think he's hey, making you know, this a thing. I'm chilling. Okay. Speaking of last week, we talked about the superpowers. And I actually, we talked about my buddy Tim that could pressure piss. Pressure piss and Tim, bubba. Uh, well, Tim saw the clip. And Tim was kind enough to send a, uh, a proof that he can still pressure piss. And this video that he sent, it's Tim oh. pressure pissing over a... Uh, Six foot fence, like you've got to be neighbor, fucking yeah. kidding me. I have to show you. We'll have to drop it in the Patreon so everyone else can see it. Yes, I, I gotta see this, I, and hopefully it's appropriate. There is no it is appropriate. appropriate. Yeah, safe. You don't, hey, hey, hey! You bad taste dog. isn't appropriate. So screw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying for the Patreon. Yes, and it, it, he's uh, he's well in his late thirties and still pressure pissing on things. It's great. Well, speaking of pressure pissing stuff, let me ask you. Uh, when you were younger, we were all young little whippersnappers doing our thing, right? Who 
was your favorite superhero, my guy? Spider Man, okay. back when. Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man was my favorite. And Gambit. I liked Gambit a lot. Too. Oh, I was a big Gambit guy. Gambit was lit. Gambit, Gambit was lit. Gambit was back lit. When. I'm uh, Batman. Batman. He wasn't my favorite when I was younger, though. Uh, I was more of a Marvel dude back when. I'm a Marvel guy back then, too. I think now that I realized that Batman was just rich and had no powers, that's pretty gangster. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I want to be rich and have no powers. When you're rich, you have power. <laughs> I just want to be rich. Hey, who you telling, baby boy? You know? No, so so I liked uh, Spider Man was cool. The X Men was the shit. The X Men wasn't no, they wasn't no joke, right? They wasn't no joke. Here's my thing. Okay, you know what else is fucking badass, my G? What? I was thinking about this. Fucking animals, my nigga. <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Animals. Hear me out, bro. Hear me out. Here's what I want to go with. Another gummy. What are you? Here, here I want to go with this. 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 You know how we got zombie movies? Yes. Right. Right. We got zombie movies. We got alien movies, right? Yeah. What would happen if fucking animals decided they was tired of our shit? And they just was like, yo, you know what, yo? Fuck humans. All of them. And somehow they all decided we had to go, right? Would we win that war? No. Absolutely no. not. And I just want to apologize to the listeners right now for getting dumber. Listen, by every second whoa, whoa, of this fucking listen. show goes on. <laughs> what the fuck did you eat? What are you smoking, uh, brother? Listen. Pass it over. I know we're not sharing because I'm sick, but what the fuck are we talking about? Animals taking over the world. I, I, I was with you for most of it. But yes. check this out. But check this no, out. We're, we're, yeah, if we had to fight animals, think about, think about all the guys. I don't want to fight an animal. I don't like bugs, Carly. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with any spiders, what any if, cockroaches. What if, I don't want to fucking punch a shark that comes up near me. I don't like seaweed, bro. I don't even like. First off, I don't think you can punch a shark. Okay, punch, you, you're supposed to punch them in the nose. They that's what, that's what they say. Uh, I think you lose that hand. I mean, it's the last time you punch anything. You ever try punching underwater? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hard as shit, dude. Yeah, it's actually really, really hard. It's hard to do anything underwater. Like, I don't want to fight any animals, dude. Yeah, so that's the point. Yeah, I saw a picture of a jacked up fucking kangaroo a couple weeks ago. Scared the living shit out of me. I mean, thing was like this fucking Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger. I'm about to look like a jacked up kangaroo, bro. You know, like a jacked up that's kangaroo. Like, that's the plan. That's that's why we work out so we can look like jacked ass kangaroos. We're the fucking kangaroo kids. That's fucking- <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to deal with any animals. Like like I said, I don't like bugs. I I scare easy. Oh, do you outside? Yeah, do you? Uh- uh, animals scare the shit out of me. What else scares you? If a if a bug, if you're driving at night, uh huh, and you felt a big ass bug crawling on your leg when you're on the highway, would that scare of you? Of course, I do the whole little scare the shit out of me. It's happened to me. Uh, snakes scare me more than anything. Yeah, I don't want to deal with the snake. Either. I don't fuck with snakes. I don't know how people have fucking snakes. As There's pets. some guy. We have his number. I think I have it saved on speed dial. There's like a snake handler in the area. Yeah, I wouldn't. He's like, I hey, don't if you see that. a snake, call me. I'll come over. Nah, like, snakes. Oh, yeah, snakes don't. Snakes. I don't fuck with snakes. I'm not afraid of heights. You afraid of heights? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, I'm not fucking worried about heights. Heights don't really scare me. I'm uh, what else? What else? I'm afraid of cops. Yeah, I'm afraid of cops. That's that's pretty much a straight up thing, you know. Uh, I'm afraid of. Uh, I'm afraid of choking, bro. That's hilarious. I always said this. I, I think I, I told you guys the rule. Yes. <laughs> I will. I will always be joking. But if I'm choking, I'm not joking. That's and, the rule. And what does that mean, bro? Jimmy, thanks for the gift sub. That means if I am choking. I'm fucking choking. I'm not. This is like, not a trail. I, not a trail. I'm for real. I'm not pretending, and it scares the shit out of me. Like, nah. please, please. What, what do you when think? I did in-home care once. I was giving the guys popsicles while I was like uh, finishing up meds, and I heard this like terrible scream. And I ran to the kitchen, and one of the guys was like this terrible purple color. And I did the Heimlich maneuver, and I shot out a whole popsicle out of his throat, and it was terrifying. That he was like blue. Would you rather? Would not? Would you rather? Oh, I have some. Would you rather?s I wanted to ask you some crazy Did shit. You save them. I do. I do. I have them. Actually, that's fucking oh, crazy. God. Chad, drop some would you rather's in if you're if you're here live. And you know what? I think I want to start asking these wild ones on a, on a regular basis. Somebody brought them to my attention, and they're fucking wild, right? So they're here. They're crazy ass questions. You ready, yo? It was called Planet of the Apes. What? All right, you ready for your first? Would you rather? Yes. All right, we're gonna start mild. Ready? Would you rather go back in time and meet your ancestors? Or go to the future and meet your great grandchildren. Go to the future. Why? I'm just interested in what the future looks like. See, I'm oh, so fuck, yeah, your, yeah. fuck your grandkids. You just want to yeah, go see yeah, what the fuck your yeah, future yeah. looks like. I mean, yeah. What's up? Like, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, what's shit like? What's like, it like out here? I, I don't know. I think the future. Yeah, so it's, right. like, it's like either see the people that made you or see the people you made, bro. 
That's some wild shit when you think about it like that. People right? I made. Okay. I'll take that. I would probably, I'd probably you? go see them too. Yeah. I'll probably go see them too. Mm. I don't think my ancestors. I really listen to this random the time traveler shit. You'll like this. And they talk about animals walking amongst human, humans with like robots and humans. When the fuck like that talking that? bears and shit. I don't know. Like, the year 3000 somewhere or something. Oh, yeah. We'll be long gone. That'd be cool for them though. If Newf, you there. ever heard that? Newf, you might have heard that. No, nah, that's something I've heard before about time travelers. That's Eventually, why robots and humans and yeah, I don't, I don't really know about all that. You oh, know, oh, that you want to talk about robots or... and humans and, and 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 all that other shit, but animals attacking niggas is out of question. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So listen, listen. All right, listen. Would you rather drink ketchup through a straw or eat mayo with a spoon? That's the grossest. Eat thing mayo I'm... with a spoon. I like mayonnaise. I've taken a shot of ketchup before and in and out and almost threw up. It was disgusting. I'll be honest with you. Look, you're, I would never eat a spoonful of fucking mayonnaise. There's nothing in this world that What what could it do? What what could happen right now for you to for you to eat a spoonful of mayonnaise? Nothing. Cuz I will get my ass up and I will go to the fridge and I will get a spoonful of mayonnaise. That is not happening. We do have a live studio audience watching if, right now. If 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 what? How if many get, how many subs? I I don't know about All right, so we doing subs or you want We can do whatever you want. I want to see you eat a spoonful of mayonnaise. I don't think I'm not, I'm not no, last week you had before me Before the show whoa, 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 over. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Show no. is over. You will eat a spoonful of mayonnaise. Last week you made me eat that nasty ass anchovy. I am not eating anything again well, that you were Did you bring eating. anything for me to eat? I didn't today. Well, that's rude. Well, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I don't eat <laughs> stuff like that. I don't even know where to look for stuff like that. You know, you had candied anchovies, bro. You were supposed to. Who even finds that kind of stuff? Yeah, I'm at the Costco. No, I, yeah, I think just take the fucking mayonnaise. I'm not eating fucking. Well, I would do that, and you, you, you should do. I will do it with you. Okay, here we go. Ready? <laughs> would you rather? Would you rather punch a wall full force as hard as you can, brick wall, right, or get punched in the chest by somebody as hard as they fucking can hit you? Which one would rather hurt? I think I take the chest. You think so? I don't like my hands hurting. That's just not fun for me. Yeah, so, yeah, the chest. Okay, okay. Last one. Let's get a little risque. Yeah. Oh no, 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 go. no, no, no. Here no, we go. Lay no. it on me. No, lay no. it on me. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait. Would you rather see your mom or your daughter dancing in a strip club? I don't have a daughter. You will. What if you did? <laughs> I guess my mom, man. That's crazy, Mama Dice. <laughs> what the? What would you do? I don't. I, I don't. What know. would you do? I don't. I don't. I'd, I'd kill myself. What? I don't, yeah, I don't know what I would do. Hell? That's a fucking terrible shit. I don't know what I would do. I know this guy once in high school. He got caught with having uh, adult film videos, so his parents made him sit down and watch one with them. Oh yep. my gosh! Yep. Can you imagine watching a porn full blown hardcore with your mom and dad? Yep. Oh, how, how would you handle that? I would hate my life. <laughs> That's fucking I would terrifying. Hate my life. You, and, you, and you're just looking at them. I, as would, just, I, I would die. I would be very sad. I don't think I'd ever watch again. No, that would, that would probably spoil it for you for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, you would man. never, everything, that would, I would mess everything up for you. A mess of breakfast? That's it. Doors? That's it. You, and imagine, imagine if you like look at them Birthday and they're, at, they're actually watching. Like you're trying to look away and they're actually sitting there watching. That's fucking disgusting. Imagine Thanksgiving. That's what, imagine Thanksgiving. I don't know about I imagine Thanksgiving. I can't wait for Thanksgiving. Is that your favorite holiday? Yes. Yeah, mine too. Yep. But yeah, I, I, I like that, and I like I like uh I like to have like a little gummy, like watch a movie, mm -hmm. tear up dinner about four p.m. Yeah, I'm and a two plate guy. On, I'm I'm tearing up. What what are you having for Thanksgiving this year? Like I know we're still we got some time, but I like to think about these things. It gives me something to look forward to. Okay, my mom my mom makes the best Thanksgiving dinner of all time. She's gonna make. Turkey, ham, yep. mac and cheese, oh. uh, candy jams, oh. then 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 sweet potato souffle. Oh. Both of them got the marshmallows on top, and the ham got the pineapples with the cherries on it. So you know it's all all kinds of wild. Definitely hitting them with the biscuits. Definitely hitting them with the stuffing inside the mm. fucking inside the turkey. Mm. You know it gets wicked. You know the mac and cheese. If I can say that again, the cranberry sauce. It's good. It's, it's it's very it's very good. Maybe some maybe some beans. Wow. You know what I mean, some not beans, but like green beans. That sounds you know great. Because you gotta have a little veggie yeah. in that. You gotta, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You gotta have a collard greens for sure. Yep. You gotta have the collards with the neck bone in it. Yep. You know, it gets busy over there. What about you? What y'all eat? Oh, we just get ours from Whole Foods. That's. Yeah. It's easy. They have a package. Stop saying <laughs> I swear to you, dude. I mean, you think I'm saying this for my health? What? You don't. <laughs> 
What? They, they have a good little package. It's good. A package. Yeah. Kind of diet Thanksgiving you having over Bro, there. they get like a little turkey and like stuff and you can buy the Hawaiian rolls and all the, they don't have the potato swirl casserole with the marshmallow. That sounds great. Bro, come I mean, I could probably pick up some marshmallows in aisle three and just fucking pop a man. Just oh, roll it up. No, like, bro, that's on. not. Oh my god, what? That is some. Wow, bro. Wow. Damn. It's good. No, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good, I bro. I said, can we make a turkey? But she, it's usually just the two of us or whatever. So it's like, what do you? How much turkey can we eat? As much turkey as you I, need. I'm, I'm willing to eat one. I've had a deep fried turkey. You ever had that? No, nah, bro. I, I've had, Dude, I, I had a turducken. I one of my favorite Thanksgiving stories. So we deep fried a turkey, uh -huh. and we had a fucking pinata that night for whatever reason. There was a pinata there, so we blindfolded the homie, and instead of giving him the bat, I gave this motherfucker the turkey neck. What? He was blindfolded, so I handed him the raw ass, oh my big old gosh. turkey neck. Man, come on. And he dropped the blindfold and the turkey neck so quick, and we all laughed hysterically, and he was embarrassed, and I don't know. Yeah, I am a massive. We ever saw him again. I'm a massive Thanksgiving player. You can't play around with Thanksgiving. Mom, if somebody, if, if Thanksgiving in my house is, if a meal is fucked up in Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. I really do. You no, know, I also love, I love, uh, I, really do. I love Halloween. Okay. I was just going to say, before Thanksgiving comes Halloween. I'm a massive Halloween. I dress up every year. Big we up we are gonna have to do a Halloween episode here. I Matt think Tidious. we're definitely gonna do a what should we dress up as. Why don't we have them pick? Whatever them pick, think. maybe the patrons can. Pick. It has to be yes, the patrons can pick, and it has to they be a duo costume. A, a duo. It has to be a duo costume. Well, we're gonna okay. Have to hurry up and get that. Get that going if that's what's gonna happen. Okay, let's do it. I'm totally down. Maybe we can do some cool stuff. What's good duos? Oh, like like I don't know, like Siskel and Ebert or Captain America and there's some Winter more Soldier French puppies or, in the chat. Are you looking for Frenchie puppies? I know you're, you're talking about costumes. There has to be something more clever that we can do that. It's easy. Yeah. I saw this costume at Target yesterday. It was brilliant. It was just you could do Django light. and Mr. Candy. It was a stoplight. <laughs> One year for Halloween, I was a motorcycle. And we played Wizard Staff. Have you ever played Wizard Staff? I, do I look like I've ever played a game called Wizard Staff? Well, then we need to play Wizard Staff. We need to do an episode where we play Wizard Staff. That Wizard like? Staff, we should fucking do what a is bad Wizard, taste Wizard, Wizard Staff episode. Okay. So Wizard, Wizard Staff, Staff is you drink a beer. And then when you're done with that beer, you duct tape your new beer on top of that beer. And then whoever has the biggest wizard staff at the end of the night is the fucking wizard. If I if I sounded like I didn't want to play this when you first started this story, I apologize. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to play wizard now, staff? It is now my goal in life. To be a wizard? To, to be a goddamn wizard. Let me I'll be about fucking the time Gandalf I in this motherfucker. You so cannot Halloween, pass. <sighs> Halloween 2007. I tried to play. We were all playing Wizard Staff. We got a shitload of uh, oh natural God. natural light, that cheap ass beer, and some PBRs. Oh my and, God. And uh, I was a motorcycle for Halloween. It was just a handlebars and a wheel in the front and like a wheel in the back with a little thing. Wow. Okay. And we were playing Wizard Staff, and I got to 21. And then I remember throwing up until blood came out of my nose. I called the ambulance on myself at my own party that came and took me to the hospital. Three thousand dollars, and they did not give me my Burt's Bees chapstick, and they just left me there until I sobered up and sent me home. Let me tell you something. That's some wizardy shit. I do. I. I I'm pretty sure I was wizard last you, I checked. You were fucking Harry 21. Potter, that motherfucker. Twenty one. I, I don't. I had no drink like that. I can't do that anymore, man. Man, what? I am down for that. I'm down. I mean, for I'll now. do it for the sake of the show and the content. Like, if you really want to be a wizard, we can get some. Oh, let's do that on here. Let's do that on here. That's a terrible idea. Let's do it. Let's totally do That's it. That's what I'm saying. That's a terrible idea. That's a terrible idea. Episode until we say. I that's am it. not and a listen, We can't promise how long that episode's yeah, going to last we, that, for. That's what I'm saying. We just yeah, start. We keep it rolling. We'll do a special. We'll have yeah. to do that. I think I'm more excited. I think I'm more excited. I'm more excited to take the idea. cans together. than See, than we brainstorm else. live. We just make it happen right here. So listen. So listen. So listen. Um, I First off, I love that fucking idea. Me and my friends used to play Edward Forty Hands on uh, birthdays. That one I've never played before. Oh, okay. I'm familiar. So yes, what it is, is you fucking, on their birthdays, you have to hold a 40 in each hand. And you tape their whole fucking hand over the 40s and you can't untape them until, they're until done. both of them are done. So that means going to the bathroom, yep. scratching, anything, it's fucking over, you know? And let me tell you, by the time you finish that first one, you know, it's it's pretty much downhill from there. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I don't drink much, man. No, no, that sounds no. I, I really don't. I did have a I had a beer yesterday. It was very rare. Oh, that's cool. I I'll have a gin now. and tonic here and there. Very rare drinker, man. I'd rather yeah. have like I'd rather get my car from somewhere else, like a oh, donut. Crazy. I had some fresh ass donuts. Did you <laughs> this weekend? Yes, I love I love donuts. Um, I love I I I drink a little bit. You know, I smoke. I drank. I'm supposed to stop, but I can't. I'm there a dog. Go. 
I love hoes. And I'm addicted to money, cars, and clothes. Do it big, dude. That's a, that's a big song in Atlanta. That's a big song in Atlanta. That's my, my that's song. Nice. Listen, but before I forget, before I forget, you know one thing we do every freaking week? What's that? No, I don't. Yes, you do. We go to Stunt Cam. Oh. We go to Stunt Cam. We go to Stunt Cam. You're right. Big Hate Hogan. You're I right. am excited How to see forget? what Stunt has for us this week. I love Tab, by the way. And, and shout out to the Mad Scooch, my man. Shout yeah, out to Scooch the holding down the, the board, Mad creating scientist. The content, all the content that's been popping up. You know, he's the one that lets Hold us know. Well, what Stunt got to say this week? Let's What's see the it, buddy. Week? Let's see it. Hate. Uh. I can't believe these chumps still got me hating outside the studio. Y'all again. Well, since you're here, I'm gonna tell you about my day. Today, I went to the gas station just to get some petroleum for the you, whippy poo. And the guy in front of me, the chump, was playing lottery. You know how long I had to wait in that line? At least eight minutes. After eight minutes, I reach a tipping point. So I left angrily. Got about a mile down the road, ran out of gas. I hated it. Oh, damn, son. Lottery and running out of gas. Hate Hogan is, is possibly my favorite. Him? Y'all oh, had him in mono. Y'all had him in mono? Oh, I heard him. That time. I heard him. I heard him. One day we're going to figure out how to make everybody hear him. One day. Yeah. One day we'll get this right. Yes. but I let me promise. Th- it was amazing. Unforgivable energy. Somebody's seen it. That's awesome. Shout out to Big Bangsy Boy, Lord Bangston. Anyone have any cold remedies? Do you have any cold remedies that can get rid of this cold? I'm, I'm glad that I'm not wrestling this weekend. I got the weekend off from traveling. Um, sure, I picked it up. It was raining in Connecticut and going outside with my hair wet. It was windy. It's now cold. Fall is yeah. here and shit. I like hot whiskey. No what? joke. Hot Hell whiskey and tea. What? Uh, the Dez diet. Have you heard? You know Dez. Dez does uh, day cool and edible. You know, so nice. You can, I had, you see where that I, had, I have, I'm about to take my NyQuil as soon as we're done with this. I'm taking NyQuil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched cool. This is the End last night, too, on the NyQuil. You're going to have some hilarious. awesome dreams. Hilarious. Yeah, This is the End is one of the- funny that movie is. That movie is awesome. I, you know, it's uh, I love movies that have combined people in it, like mad I'm different- sad. It made me realize, like, again, I've said this before on the shows, that we need to plan out a movie. Like, a movie needs to happen, and like- we need to be doing skits, bad taste skits, and, and have these people, these listeners, earn these skits. I think that I, you think know, they're just literally coming here to hang out with us. But they deserve more than that, Carly Bravo. We need to, we need to do low case movies. We need to give them, we need to give them experience. There was this movie store in uh, San Luis Obispo, California, and they just had all C movies, like bootlegs. It was incredible. Yeah, all the old black exploitation movies were all fucking old B-list bottom movies. They were freaking, you know, Foxy Brown and Superfly and all them other joints. Yo, we would thrive in an old school 80s film. We would just, we would thrive in any film. You damn right, leading men over here. You know, put me on the other side of Megan Fox or a Holly Berry. Yeah, that's not happening. I, was, I think it could happen. That's not happening. I definitely think it's going to happen. I've got the looks. I've got the bedazz. You know, I've got the stone cold debonair body. I look like a black James Bond. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, <laughs> I do. No, I do not yeah, know what do. you're saying. Yeah, you do. You see what? it. You, you are on a roll tonight. You see right, it, baby. You see it. You see it. So, all right. Check this out. Uh, they're, speaking of actors and stuff like that, you know this? Why don't you I, tell me a story? Tell you a story? Yeah, tell me a story. Tell you a fucking story. Tell me a crazy story. Do you want me to tell you a crazy story? Yeah, Do tell I us have... all a crazy story. That's what I want. Okay. A crazy fucking A crazy story. Carly Bravo story. Something you've seen with your eyes. Something maybe the funniest time. Funny, one of the funniest things you've ever seen you don't want to know in your life. With these eyes. These like, eyes have seen some things. What? Yeah, tell, me, tell me one of the best stories. I'm going to put you right here. All right. Give me, give me. Let me think of a story. Let and me see, think of a story. Or you can eat the mayonnaise. See, that's not that's, that's not good. that's not happening. I'm not eating mayonnaise this week. So crazy. If we really can get if we can get if we get like 50 more subs, I'll think about it. Can y'all do that? Huh? Huh? Challenge accepted? Oh, they'll they'll do that. They'll do that. Let's see what you got. Money there. What uh? This is a replay slit. Huh? This is a replay. Tell them about the prank on the school bus. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, you want to hear a story? 
I do have a story, son. Okay. 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 This is the story that something happened to me. Okay. Okay. So, damn, bro. I want a story. Fuck whoever you... brought this up, man. That's funny. Check this out. Okay, okay. So, I was driving. I was driving home. This is like maybe, maybe like five or six years ago. So I'm a grown ass man. I was driving home. I'm sitting in this cool ass car, right? I mean, I'm at the light. I'm fresh as shit. I look good as hell, right? I'm in the light. I had the windows down. It was nice out and stuff, right? So I'm in there and I'm playing some fly ass music. I'm cooling. I need to accentuate how fly I was. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. I was really in my bag. You get what I I'm see saying? It. I see. Okay, it. okay. So as as I'm at the light, right? This fucking school bus pulls up next to me, right? Bunch of kids. Now it's nice out. Windows down. They're all chilling, yo. They look at me and they like, yo, they all hype. You know what I'm saying? So we're vibing. They're looking at me yep. like, that's a cool motherfucker. And I'm looking at them like, I'm a cool motherfucker. You mm -hmm, know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's cool, right? So they was like, they was all hyping me up, all that. We all hyping there like that. And uh, I turned the, so the, I just wanted to be extra cool. So I turned the fucking radio down. I'm like, yo, what's up? Y'all all right? You know what I'm saying? They're like, yeah, we good. We chilling. Blah, blah, blah. Boom. I was like, word, word. Turn the music back up. One of the little kids, like, like, like I can see that the light on the other side is turning yellow, so we getting ready to go. One of the kids like taps on the window, like yo, 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 my man, my man, my man, yo, you left your keys in the in the in the door. You left your keys in the door, and I'm like, what? I left my keys in the door. I roll the fucking turn the music down. I hop, I have my whole ass up about the fucking thing, and these kids start clowning the fuck out of me. <laughs> they got your ass, bro. They don't just start clowning me. Like, they really start roasting me. <laughs> like, God, I went to school, school, bro. In the bro world. They was like, you old lame ass nigga, bro. I was, like, I was all kind of corny dudes <laughs> and punks and all kind of stuff. Like, oh, extra lame head ass. Like, bro, how did you feel when you realized your keys bro, were not bro, in your Bro, you know door. how embarrassing it is to get schooled at a, at, a, at a red light by a bunch of, like, 10th graders, bro? It was, it was demoralizing. And you know what's even worse? I felt like, like, <laughs> I was, like they literally, yeah, no, like, I had to have, yo, like, yo, like, I'm a I, fucking idiot. Yo, I'm a fucking, yeah, I'm a and them kids clowned this shit out of me. I mean, like literally had their hands all pointing, laughing at me till the bus drove off. I didn't, the light turned green and I stayed at the light and they just drove past me, bro. I lost that day, bro. Yeah. I lost that day. That was, uh, that was a fucked up Carly Bravo story. There's a, there's a story for you. Yeah. I got pranked. Yeah, they got See, I don't do the pranking. People prank me. Oh, I've done the pranking. We go pranker. Oh yeah, we used to ditch class in high school and go bomb people. Oh, this is so bad. But we would get water cups from Taco Bell, and you just I had the nice overhang. We'd bomb each other. All the other students. We just throw water cups, and there was two gangs that we had. It was our uh, group and another one of bombers, and we yeah. would just bomb each other. I uh I did one prank in high school and I, I threw eggs at somebody's house around Halloween. Uh, my dumbass, it just happened to be my the people right across the street from me, and it was me who was probably the one black family in the um the neighborhood and a one redhead kid. So we stuck out like fucking sore thumbs. We egged his house and then you came home and like, who egged the house? Oh my god! And somebody was like, it was the black guy and the guy with the red hair. We couldn't even <laughs> deny it. It was only one. We were the only people that looked like us in the whole neighborhood. Every time and, like my house would get egged or TB, my Puerto Rican mother thought like someone was cursing our house. Like. I that's hilarious. hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you, you. It's happened so many times. Like, <clears throat> there was one time my mom calls me. The band's on the road. We just left. My mom calls me. She's like, uh, we have to move. We have to leave. I was like, what? She's like, someone is putting a curse on us. I was like, what? Some, like, someone less animal remains outside. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? So I was on the phone. I was like, I'll call you back when we stop. So I'm like, uh, I'm like, my mom just calls and someone left animal remains. And uh, Blaze, our drummer, starts laughing his ass off. I guess he was at the beach and found a bird skeleton that he cleaned off, and he left it out there to dry. So my mom thought that someone left it out to tell that some shit. Yeah, That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> I know kids back in my day used to like shit in paper bags and put them at their people's fucking uh, doorstep light, and light them yeah. on fire. I That's know someone would, would do the. Uh, I've seen the poop under the door handle before. So someone goes to get in their car and. <laughs> So that would piss me off to no end. <laughs> it would it would suck. Imagine imagine I've seen it. We've imagine imagine doing that. And as soon as you do it and you look at your hand, you hear kids in the car laughing. Ha <laughs> ha they skirt off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you see their face. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> you can't reach and get your keys because you got shit all over you your got shit all yeah. warm shit on your hands. <laughs> we did uh one night in Philadelphia, my buddy Stu and I that was just here, we did we had a night of entertainment. We did the, the good old poo dollar. You know, you just uh, our friend Jess had a puppy, so we picked up like a five dollar bill and we just squeezed the puppy shit on the five dollar bill and you just drop it out the window. 
and you just watch how many people pick it up and, and find out their shit on it, and they that's throw disgusting, it right back down. bro. That's ill. Yeah. That would piss me off. That would, yeah, well, that would, you know what else pisses me off? You ever been shit on my bird? Yes, I have. Do you know? Do you know yes. how demoralizing that feels? They say it's good luck. How is that good luck? You're here. So You're here. Pretty lucky. The 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 the, the, <laughs> the bird got endless fucking sky to fly in and it, it just so happened that ass. it shits right on you how many times have you been shit on Mobby pub <laughs> by a bird oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been shit on by a bird I've been shit on twice by a bird but life <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, how many times have you been shit on? I think like my bird like, at least twice. And one time I just got a brand new Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt actually in sixth grade. It shit on the shirt. Let me tell you something, right man. You never forget that. No, I you didn't. were hype about that shirt. I was hype. You got I shit on. Hype. Yep. That's funny. And it was, it was the bootleg Stone Cold shirt. Like it said, Austin, that was like that was like, like all big. Like I knew it wasn't the original. That's, that was God. Like like like. like you that's why that. you should have got the real shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the real shirt. Your mom said your mom got you the bootleg. Yeah, so I'm gonna shit on. Yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, I'll show you how I feel it. about that. That'd be actually oh. absolutely fucking terrible. I couldn't imagine that. No, it no, was that's... terrible. I hope I don't get shit on again. Ah man, the odds of that happening. Happen. The odds of that happening are like one a gazillion. You know, that's not that's not a cool thing. I seen uh, I seen a lot. There's nothing really going on in current events. I thought I tried to look up some things. I saw nothing. You told me you don't give a fuck about that. The Giants are playing. Who if cares? anybody would like to find out. The score for me, that would mean something. You can say it. You know, you're not. This is not. You can tell me what the score is. Okay. Sorry, I've been sniffling all damn show. Yeah, why? Terrible. I, t- I already said why I'm sick. Why are you sorry? Dice, I'm, I'm man. Why are you sorry is what I'm saying. Why am I sorry? I don't have to be sorry. I don't want to be sniffing. I'm ready to take this NyQuil. Let you me know? tell you. I'm going to start this recovery process. The, I might hit the fucking uh, the sauna tomorrow and sweat this shit out. The weather has been fantastic. The weather was. Oh. I've been taking the dog on a walk. Went to the dog park today. Well, excuse me. Flair tried to mount uh, a female dog at the park. Good for him. Real mean. Good for him. Good. So we left embarrassed. Okay. Brandy Lauren with the raid. Ooh. Welcome, Raiders. Ooh. Hit that follow button. I'm Outlandy Suzuki Dyson. This is Carly Bravo. Brandy Lauren. Thank you so much for the raid. This is Bad Taste, the show we do every Monday night here at twitch.tv slash Suzuki Dice. Podcast version and yes. shows everywhere else. Hit that follow button. And... and Come and hang out. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you. Thank you. Brandy. Brandy who? Brandy Lauren. Brandy Lauren? Yes. Yo. Yeah. Hi, Brandy Lauren. My name is Carly Bravo. They call me Bad News and Tattoos. I am a massive fan of yours. Yeah. That's how we're going to do that one. Is Hi, that Brandy. Was that smooth? Hi, Shout out Brandy. to Murder One, too, yo. Shout out. Murder One is in the chat. You know, that's my OG. Love me some Murder One. That's my guy. Have you ever met Murder One? No, maybe. Murder One is an yeah. old school gangster wrestler. He he ran a, couple, a bunch of awesome promotions in Georgia. He's oh. the guy that got me into wrestling. Yeah, he's he's the he's the guy. He's he he is the guy. He says that the Giants are letting me down right now, and they're losing six to three. Oh, I hear that. That's okay. Yeah. We'll come back up. It's not a problem at all. Brandy, I hope you had a great stream. We gotta we gotta get you on the show. Please, we gotta that'd be get awesome. you on an episode of Bad Taste. Can you do that for us, Brandy? Can we get you on for a seg? How awesome would that be? We just hang out. We just shoot the shit. Shoot we're just hanging. We're just shit. Shoot talking about shots. life. You know, we talk about that's life. It. That's all we're doing. So I want to give a shout out to the people who are hel- who've been helping us out since we've been doing this. Our secret assassin, Des. Yeah. You know, she's really come through. We love Des. One day you I guys are going to. I said next week she's got to get on the show. Just sit up here. We're going to feature Des. She's not going to speak to you guys, but no, she, she'll laugh. She don't need to. They can earn that. Oh, Patreon that. They can earn that. Hey, and then you get Scooch. We got Scooch is the mad scientist. He's the guy that runs all of this stuff for us. And without Scooch, we'd really be lost. You know, we'd really be lost in Jurassic Park without a co- without a compass. It'd be terrifying. You know, that was that that's really lost. Could you not? Nope. No? <coughs> we would be lost. Yeah, totally. You know, and listen, you know what I'm thinking too? You what? know what I'm thinking? I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. <coughs> I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. I'm thinking next week we introduce a couple live calls. Live phone calls on the show next week. Live phone calls oh, on the show. God, I'm feeling a good idea. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like I'm feeling like money. I feel like we need to talk to the people. The people need to talk to yes. us. I I, I'm like willing to implement some live calls to bed. Are you today. down for that? I'm down for some live calls. I'm, I think the people want to that speak would, to that us. Would, that would that would get me excited. And maybe by then I'll be feeling a whole lot better. Live rap battles. I'm down for live rap battles too. Yeah, we should definitely let's ooh, get some between. fucking live rap battles on bad taste. If you can rap battle. 
Okay. And if you can't rap battle but want to rap battle on the show, please drop us a line at thebadtasteshow at gmail.com. Yes, because we're taking or all tag us on the social media. We're taking I'm looking all. for you, you. And you better be nice. You're speaking of looking for. No, don't be nice. Spe- <laughs> I want I want them all. I want all types. Okay. Okay. Speaking of uh nice though, right? La- uh, or, or or even looking for things. Last week we mentioned that we were looking for the best mouth. Did you clarify that? No, I, I mean, I, I, okay. So I don't want to say any more, th- anything more about it just yet oh, until we're ready to oh, drop it. Okay. But I'm working on something, and it's coming because then someone's gonna try and do some bootleg version of what I want to do, and just let me knock it out of the park. We'll have this whole commercial and these fucking flyers and all this cool shit. But we're, we're working on some cool shit here. We've got, and some, we're growing. It's only yes. week three, and if, like I said, you've got ideas. There's ways for you to reach out and drop them in the line. Oh. Something you want us to talk about, review, eat, whatever, whatever it is, we're here for it. Yeah, well, I'm. Da- well, I'm looking to explain well, the problem with this. The, the problem with this. The problem with this is usually the person has to eat things. It's me, and that's not fun. You can me. make me eat things. I'll eat things. It's not fun when you enjoy it. So I don't know. You know, we, we got some gross. Sh- we give you some gross shit. You're gonna love it. You know. That's- I mean, not 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 everything. No, I love everything. What's something you don't like? Black licorice. Okay. And cantaloupe. That was and honeydew. You don't like honey? I don't like and cantaloupe. I don't like horseradish. melon. Oh, horseradish is pretty gnarly. Horseradish is ass. I don't see the ones you I, don't like I hate cheese. that shit. The hot shit. I, I don't like really hot shit. So I watched a documentary this week on these chill on these people who eat chili peppers. And I, I you, know, you the one with the competition. Yes. And they have like the different levels. Yeah, and I the shorty, that. you saw that? Yeah. Tell me you wasn't interested in that. I dude, it let's was get, very painful. Like the medium, I would I would have been done. I am not a fan of super spicy shit. I have a hey, hey, hey. You, you, let's eat a Carolina Reaper. Pub bark. What up? A Carolina, honey, do this suck. A Carolina Reaper. I don't want to eat one of let's those. Let's eat one of those. I have no interest in eating one of those. I have no interest. Put in one up your ass. Eat fucking what? Yeah, put one up your ass. What? If you, if you, see, that's Bro, how I see, feel about no, eating one. No. What? I, that's ate, how I, feel. I ate the candied. I'd rather I, put it in my ass. I, I, ate, the the candy, and, I ate the candied anchovy. You got to eat a piece of fucking, come on, this is bad taste. It has to work that way. Am I correct? Like, you got to eat something spicy. You got him. Mm-hmm. So, I, I don't want to do the one. I guess I'll do the one chip. I, I don't know. What, I don't I don't know. There was one time I had an allergic reaction to like this crazy pepper. And it was the same type of situation. Do it. Eat it. Eat the spicy <laughs> thing. And the next thing you know, I had all these like bubbles around my skin and couldn't breathe. I did the one chip challenge. Me and my sisters and brothers did it. And it was it sucked ass. Well, then do it for these people and me. I'll laugh and clap. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> eat honeydew. And I'm not. I hate honeydew. I'm not. A, I'm a fruit guy, but I'm not a honeydew dude. Worms? Have you eaten? Yeah, we've, I've said I've, I've never eaten worms. worms. Yo, I don't eat. I'm not crickets. fucking. I'm not fucking Timon and Pumbaa. I'm not just fucking. <laughs> we are Timon and Pumbaa. Around here. I'm we not are fucking. Timon and Pumbaa. Yo, you know what though? That's actually bananas because I can we see. Where Timon people, and I can see where people would compare you and I to Timon and Pumbaa. You know what I mean? That would be some wild ass shit. Who's our Simba? Uh, fucking Gator. Gators, Gator Simba. Simba, bro. Gator. Gator's fucking Simba, bro. Yeah, fucking Hakuna yep. Matata. Hey, yo, the so Warhog, Zicky the Warhog. If you guys want to draw it, make some art. Hey, I would really like some art. If you guys got, I'm, some- I'm, ready, I'm ready to get some this like do a show in the tattoo studio. Bring yo, it you, through, you like, spoke my boys. Take people. us to the road, like like we need to do nightclubs and open up bad taste. That's why I'm. That's where I'm looking to take the show. Take the show that's on the, the direction. Imagine us. You know, I want I want to pranks and do dumb shit and Zicky. We have built it, and it will happen. We're gonna go. We're gonna take this show on the road, baby. Are we? Oh yes, man. Okay. Imagine, like, imagine like, like, remember sick. the Lex Express. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. Like, like, what if we had something like that? Like a big ass fuck. What if we looked at the crumble menu and saw what kind of cookies they had for the week while you're talking? Go ahead, I'm listening. Yo, last week you wouldn't eat none of my my cool candy because you was like, I'm on a no sugar diet. Well, I am on. A, oh, what? What? Is it closed? No, they mind your own business. <laughs> What were you saying? Is crumble closed, bro? I'm going to have caramel cookie. pumpkin this week, raspberry butter cake, peanut butter cream with nutter butter, lemon glaze. And the other ones are always the same, peak sugar. I'm I'm trying to see it late at night is when I start craving sugar. I'm like, I'm listening to you talk, and I'm like, damn. We should shut the fuck up so I can order some crumble. Wow. I know. Well, you know what's crazy? You know crazy? You know crazy? You know crazy? I don't got to shut the fuck up, but you can still order crumble. I said, no, well, they're closed now. It's 10 p.m. Oh, well, damn. I know. Well, that sucks. You've been gifting a sub to Sid Laser. Thank you guys so much. Red Thank Queen, you. Hello, everyone here in the Twitch 
reminding you we do this live every Monday night, every 9 Monday. p.m. Eastern, right here at Twitch.tv. We're looking for your ideas. Please feel free to drop them. We have a special Discord. You mm -hmm. can join and hop mm -hmm. in in the channel there. Yep, we've yep. got our Patreon. We've got our Twitter. We've got our Instagram. We've got our YouTube. There are ways to Apple get a hold podcast, of us. Apple Podcasts, Google Talk, and Spotify. Just a reminder, when you're there, give it a top rating. Leave your handle. Yeah, so we listen, can shout you out. This is a this is a five star deal. We've been giving you some real good. We're oil. literally chilling, hanging out. This is a way to unwind. Yeah, there, there's you know, who better who better to unwind with? Our voice is like like Morgan Freeman and fucking who else has a great yep. voice? So what's your plan for the rest of the week then, Morgan? Wait, I need someone else with a great voice. I'm not running past this. Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert Godfrey does not have a great yes, voice. That's does. how he talks. Yes, he does. Okay, cool. He does. My plan for the weekend, I've got a little wrestling, got a little events I got to do, some fun stuff. You know, my, my, my weekends are usually wrestle-based. What about during the week? I We're going to be fucking going to the gym and yep. furthering the expansion of Bad Taste's empire. I'm hitting the gym, uh, more dog parks, more walks. You need to get some fucking rest. That's I the do fuck need you need rest. to do. I do need some rest. You know, it's been fucking wild. But listen, as always, you know, we've been doing this and we are coming to the point where we're about to be winding this thing down. So. Next week, we're taking freaking live calls. I'll be streaming live tomorrow as well as this Thursday for Deeper Impact, watching Impact Wrestling here on the channel. We do that every Thursday. And um, I also got a little trial run from um, an online casino I'm going to be starting here soon. What is I that? Seven days. A seven-day sponsorship. What's your casino? Giving Ziggy Dice. Looks like Stake.us is giving Atlanta Ziggy Dice a, a, a promotional opportunity. So we'll see how that goes. So we'll have to hit some slots this week. You know what, what is I'm your casino slots? game of choice, my friend? Oh, well, right now I've been playing that game Crash. You just bet on a rocket and when it's going to crash. That's some wild shit. That's it. I'm a I'm a poker guy and I'm a blackjack I guy. I am done playing blackjack. You're done playing blackjack? Yep. You sworn it off? I sworn it off. I've done every rule in the book and I just get fucked over and over again. No, I do. Dealers be pulling out 14 card 21s and shit. Oh, like yeah, I the impossible. The I love I love me a good... Uh, I love a good blackjack. I don't do roulette. Never learned. Um, I want to shoot some craps. I want to learn more craps. That's something I'm looking at into doing. Oh, yeah. I could teach Impact's you. Impact's going craps. to Vegas in a few weeks. Yeah. We're going to Albany, New York as well. Ooh, That's the first. Maybe I'll come see you guys we're in going Vegas. To Vegas. Vegas is always a good time. Scooch, you, you want to go to Vegas? Let's go to Vegas. You should go to Vegas. You told me you were going to meet me out there last year. Let's you, go you to can, Vegas. You can, if you come to Vegas, you can stay in my hotel room and we will do an episode from the hotel room. Ooh, that sounds tempting. I think we're going to do that. All right, me and Vegas, we're go, we go hand in hand. I think it's the 21st and 22nd. I can do that. I like Vegas. Vegas is a good time for me. Gator, you want to go to Vegas? You know, go to Vegas. Me. Let's go to Vegas. We can bring everyone to go to Vegas. Hey, Hogan. Hey. Everyone go to Vegas. Let's do this. I think this is a good idea. I wish I could go to Vegas. The chat wants us to go to Vegas. Imagine bad taste in Vegas. That'd be I, something I, I, to see. That's, that's, that's something we throw on the Patreon, man. We get some behind the scenes content. I'm gonna come out We're with a tattoo on my face. Vegas, a live movie. I'm going fucking nuts. I'm gonna come out with a baby on my chest. That's just gonna be fucking amazing. I hope you don't. Name Carlos. <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's gonna be freaking magnificent. You understand? Well, oh, shit. I love fucking Vegas. Well, you know what? I love Nyquil, and I'm going to bed. Everyone, thank you for tuning in. This has been Bad Taste this morning. Thank you for Taste hanging buds. out. We will see you next Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. We love you right here at Twitch.tv. We love you. Sticky Dice. Thank you for the love. Share the show. I'm sorry we're cutting it a little short uh, this week. I'm just he's sicky, I feel, wicky. I'm sicky dice. Man. He's sicky like dice. He's not. Sweet. I'll make up to it next week. Please drop your segment ideas uh, online. Shoot us an email. You know what to do. Hey, we love you guys. Be cool. See you next week. Mods get a raid in. Holla.